and welcome to today's fireside chat with CoForge and ServiceNow. My name is Tom Davis here, and I lead a global partner management team at ServiceNow. We are here in the wonderful city of Princeton on the sidelines of CoForge's annual sales kickoff. I'm joined by two industry luminaries, Sudhir Singh, CEO and MD, CoForge, and Eric Cavallini, EVP Industries Partners and in Go-To-Market at ServiceNow. Welcome, Sudhir and Erika. Thank you. Thanks for having us here. Thank you for taking the time to connect today. I thought we could cover in our chat kind of the high level of our practice of a partnership and the journey, some best practices for our collaboration, and then maybe wrap with your thoughts on trends in technology and in the industry. Fantastic. Overall. How does that sound? Sounds perfect. Great. So let's start with our partnership journey. Erica, can you share kind of how the partnership with CoForge has evolved and maybe some milestones that you're happy and proud about, please? Absolutely, and Sudhir, you're an integral part of this because when we started this journey, it all starts with leadership support and you making a declarative decision that ServiceNow is one of CoForge's top priorities. Absolutely. We had our EBC in April, uh -huh. and that's when we really were able to understand each other as partners, what we wanted to tackle together, and we set a really strong ambition for the next three years of growth. And I think what's really important with a partnership is that it's growth for both of us. Sure. Growth in your business, and as you just said on stage, creating a $100 million business mm -hmm. this year, and growth for ServiceNow in terms of net new ACV. And that comes on the back of great client relationships, lots of innovation in the industries, and leveraging the power of our platform combined with the power of your thought leadership and expertise. So I think we're off to a tremendous start. And frankly, when I think of a great partner, CoForge is right at the top, right? You have invested in building the capabilities of your ServiceNow practice. Sure. You're bringing your industry thought leadership to develop market leading offerings that can help grow the marketplace. And you have a consistent focus on quality and customer satisfaction. Mm -hmm. And that's the trifecta for us. Thank you, thank you so, so much for that. Uh, Erica, completely agree with what you said. And at the outset, I want to be even uh, more specific in terms of the declaration. For us, ServiceNow is the most important enterprise relationship. I won't even put it in the realm of one of the most important ones. We're very clear on that. The aspiration to do $100 million is important, but what's even more important for us is to make sure that we truly partner with you, that this does become a two-way, a 360-degree relationship. And the milestones as I look at them, the ones that have given us post the EBC that you talked about, a lot of comfort has been one, the joint win, customer success with, with the telecom major, the fact that their dispatcher productivity has gone up as much as it has, the fact that they've acknowledged the role of ServiceNow and CoForge in increasing it, the fact that their telecom order cycles have contracted, which is what they wanted, and again, the fact that they've acknowledged what we've done is fantastic. The joint win that we've had in the healthcare space, which is the new vertical where we led with the functional expertise, where we had fantastic support from your organization has been good. And we feel really enthused about the fact that we have what we think is just the beginning, 12 solutions on the ServiceNow platform. But going forward, I truly believe this. If CoForge is to grow, and I think we will, we won't be able to do it without you. Well, I love that. And frankly, I love the fact that the first thing you said is customer outcomes. Uh -huh. you know the impact that you're making. And for us to be the AI platform for business transformation, it has to be about right. outcomes. Totally agree. Let me pick up on that point, Sudhir, about that industry expertise that you yeah. talked about. So you're not just hiring technologists, you're hiring deep industry and domain experts. Now, how do we communicate that unique aspect in our joint value prop, you know, to our customers, to our analysts, to the analyst community, to influencers? Welcome your thoughts there. I think it's incumbent on us uh, to make sure that working with the ServiceNow team, we re-emphasize it. If you look at the core DNA of the organization, seven years back, we called out our mission statement as transforming at the intersect, and we say this everywhere, and we've said this for seven years, of functional and technology expertise. So seven years back, when we were still as a $400 million firm trying to figure out what was going to be different about us, and what was more importantly going to be hard-coded into our DNA. We said it had to be both functional and technology expertise. Today, we're 32,000 strong, 20,000 of us 
out of the 32,000 focus only on the financial services sector. Yeah. We've talked about banking, we've talked about insurance. But for us, leading with functional expertise, creating the dispute management solution for MasterCard that we've created for mid-tier banks working with you, creating the underwriting workbench that, we, that has service now and the platform integral to it, creating the submissions hub in insurance, looking at digital operations, resilience that we talk about is going to be front and center. Functional expertise is what CoForge has stood for. Functional expertise is how we want to support the ServiceNow agenda in the years to come. And frankly, functional expertise is what we need. Mm -hmm. It's what we need to grow. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what I've shared. Yes, we have some industry experts in our organization, but they're few as compared to what you have here at CoForge. And so what we're looking for our partners to do is to bring that functional and industry expertise, combine it with the power of our platform. That's what the partnership is all about. So I agree, I used to call it funky tech. <laughs> so I love this integration uh -huh. of functional and technical. It's everything, all Right. it's everything. Thank you. That's great. And if you zoom out for a second, if you look at the broader themes, Erica, earlier today you spoke about ServiceNow's aspiration to be the AI platform of business transformation. You talked about how partners such as CoForge are becoming market creators. Yes. Is that what you think is the next kind of dimension of focus for us as partners? At 100% it is the next dimension. I mean, we have gone on a revolution, not just an evolution as I talked about earlier, from our partners being pure implementers to being co-sellers to being market openers. The opportunity now is for true market creation. We want our partners to tell us, you should be in this sector or this subsector right. with this solution. Here's what we could do with your platform to make a difference in this vertical in a way that you have not thought of before. And what you're gonna find is we are so open to that conversation. We're gonna to come to the table and support you in the best way we know how to make that happen, but we're also gonna get out of your way because we want you to be able to bring the CoForge, the best of CoForge to help our platform get to as many enterprises as humanly possible and to work across the enterprise, every single persona. So that's definitely the evolution, Tom. Yeah. And that's our commitment, frankly, sure. to our partners because the opportunity is there. The TAM continues to grow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as I said, in a good partnership, it should grow you and it should grow us. And of course, it has to get to value for our customers. Absolutely. No, completely endorse that, completely align with it. As we look at the world, uh, we find technology spend increasing everywhere, yeah. but the technology spend increasingly going to SIs who are able to operate in the realm that you talked about, market creation, and not just duking it out in what already exists. The ability for us to partner with you, and thank you for all the support you've given us, to create those solutions, to create the frameworks, to get into markets by defining newer solutions is going to be vital to our growth journey. And the fact that we have a seat at the table in the broader partner framework you have means the world to us. So we're looking at that. We also recognize, Erica, the fact that embedded sales, partner embedded sales has to be core to what we do. We've always led with the customer first. We've always led with solutions. Some of those solutions will mean co-opting the ServiceNow platform into what already exists. Whether that's work that we do illustratively with Terminos and creating a bank in a box. Yeah. Whether it's work that we do on, let's say, the travel co-pilot and making sure that ServiceNow is embedded in the travel co-pilot that we create is going to be the way forward for us. So again, completely aligned, very excited. And our commitment to you is when you embed ServiceNow, you are setting yourself up for growth. And I think that's the, we talked about this before, it's the important part right. is that once our platform gets embedded, that's not the end, it's the beginning, right. right? From there, it becomes, okay, now you're exposing the client to the power of service now through the services that you're offering. And now you have the platform to say, what else can we do for you, client? Okay. Because ServiceNow has the ability to play across the enterprise. So to me, it's let's get embedded, let's get it in front of the client, and then let's grow. And that's gotta I, be- I heard time. you talk about agentic AI, data and workflows. Yeah. For us, when we think of creating a solution, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a crisp and a, and a very apt characterization of what a solution entails. So we're really excited about it and about working with you. Wonderful. Love it, love that plan for engaging strategically with our customers. Uh -huh. Let me go from strategy to field level execution for sure. a minute where it all gets real. Yeah. So Deer, in your experience, you know, could you share some thoughts on what works best or what, what should we be guiding our teams on for world-class field level engagement between our sellers? I think what works best is a very clear understanding of the principle that the customer has to be the North Star. What they need has to be central to what we create. 
as we look at field level engagements, one, and this is something that I took away from the conversation with Erica earlier, is the fact that we have to make sure that we are leading in with very crisp pointers to folks that we know, and not necessarily within the CIO organization, but outside the CIO organization in the enterprise sales piece. The second thing that we are absolutely committed to is making sure that what we internally call the tier one customers, our top 12 customers, when we work with partners, and we talked about this earlier, like a Bain, create solutions, we make sure that ServiceNow is always integral, but in some cases is prime and the only solution that we base ourselves on. So engagement with service or with field teams has to follow those principles. We understand it is incumbent on us to not just go out there knocking on the doors looking for business. It is also incumbent on us, especially with the AEs out in the market, to make sure that we are we are investing in creating, if required, a parallel sales team, if required, a parallel pre-sales team to support your agenda, their agenda, and then to take it forward. Yeah, I mean, there's not much more for me to add to that. Um, it, I c could not agree more. The customer has to be first. It's about cutting, getting the customer to value. It's also about getting customer to value as quickly as possible, okay. right? Field engagement means they have the ability to declare a win to their client to prove out the value of the platform quickly and to be able to grow it over time. So it's, it's focus on the customer and focus on speed to value. Mm. We get those two things right, I think field engagement becomes a lot easier. I agree. So true. Customers are North Star, we can't go wrong, yes. right? Um, maybe in that same light, Eric and Sudhir, could you share your thoughts on how ServiceNow and CoForge are helping our clients prepare for the future? I mean, I think it's fundamentally, listen, the future is about AI. I think yeah. we can all agree yeah. on that. Everyone needs AI. AI is here. AI is going to fundamentally transform business processes across the entire enterprise. But I think the key is helping our clients collectively to understand that AI isn't just about deploying some agents in right. parts of the process. AI goes back to that formula. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's about building the agents right using all the data across every platform that that company has, and then using the workflows to take those agents and drive real action and real results. And I think if we stick to that formula, that's how we're gonna work together to really be able to deliver that value. And that's, that's what's gonna help our customers scale and sustain the value that they have. And I think that's the difference, and that's what I'm excited about with CoForge. You're talking about bigger deals, you're talking about bigger outcomes, you're talking about bigger value. And that has to be that full integration of the technology, the data, and the platform all coming together. Couldn't, couldn't agree more. As a systems integrator, when we think of business transformation, the ServiceNow vision around being the AI-based transformation agent for indus the industry and industries is something that we think is going to be a fantastic platform for us to ally our functional expertise with. You're absolutely right, uh, couldn't agree more. AI is the future. AI-based, AI-driven solutions can truly drive business transformation at scale. And we're looking forward to replicating what we did in terms of creating that patient advocacy uh, solution, leveraging the ServiceNow platform, AI underlaid with it. Doing that not just once, but doing it many, many times yes. over. So yes. completely agree, totally aligned. That's great. Thank you, Sudhir and Erika. That was a very insightful discussion. As you wrap, perhaps one last thought from each of you, uh, one you know, takeaway for our audience. Eric, I'll go to you first. There's no limit to the opportunity that we have together. I mean, there is truly no limit. The TAM is exponential. The opportunity keeps expanding with the advent of AI. Our partnership could not be working better. Uh -huh. That's why we're uh -huh. sitting here uh -huh. together today. I mean, I look at this and say, our growth is only limited by the effort that we're willing to put in together. And I feel like you and I are very committed to growing this partnership. We absolutely are. Uh, when we get together as, a, as an organization, as a bunch of leaders and as sales teams, there are two things we recognize. The first, of course, is exactly what you said. Tech spend is increasing. SIs like us have to address a changing tech spend. That changing tech spend can only be addressed if one leads with solutions instead of just talking about things from a service point of view. We are truly excited about the partnership. We recognize the fact that we've been offered a, t a seat at the table with a platform that really is the most aspirational from an SI partner to be working with. So we really cherish that opportunity and we're looking forward to working with you in the future. Same here. Thank you.
Thank you so much. Thank Thanks, you, Erica. Tom. Thanks, Tom.